Thank you very much. We'll continue to follow that case. Well, certainly a busy month for Syracuse police. It now includes the threat of a lawsuit from the woman who claims she was left unconscious and put on life support after her forceful arrest in Armory Square nearly two weeks ago. Syracuse police now admitting the officer under scrutiny didn't have a uniform camera. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan has the department's explanation. 60 hours after the forceful arrest of Unia Chapman in Armory Square, Syracuse police released some of the footage showing what happened after she was accused of stealing from a pizza shop's tip jar. Even the department acknowledges what's been shared is only some of the video still being reviewed. But there's one angle that will never be seen. The arresting officer, Leonard Browns. He didn't have a camera on his uniform. Police didn't share that detail and didn't take questions when they released the footage at a briefing last week. The officer's lack of camera was revealed by the notice of claim filed this week by Chapman's attorney and then confirmed by a police spokesperson who explains of the 375 sworn officers, there are 281 devices. Brown is a detective assigned to the Criminal Investigations Division, a unit not yet outfitted with the technology. Each officer is assigned a specific device, so there's no sharing and not a bank of cameras for anyone's use. So when Leonard worked an overtime shift in Armory Square two weeks ago, he had a uniform, but no camera. All right, Andrew, so um, on that Monday following the weekend arrest, um, the police chief has a press conference. They show the video. He doesn't take any questions at that time. Says, we're still investigating this. They're still investigating, but now they're starting to answer some questions. What's, why do you think that is? What's well, after on? the notice of claim was filed yesterday, we reached out asking right. if they'd address some of the specific concerns. And yes, they did respond. They didn't answer concerns mm -hmm. or our questions point by point, but they basically said that they're aware of what's being accused in the notice of claim, the department and City Hall. And they also wanted to give us an explanation about why Officer Brown wasn't wearing a camera. Okay. So they have okay. opened up the conversation a little bit. Okay. And we're still waiting on that uh, internal investigation for him. Okay. I know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Andrew. Chapman's notice of claim says she's suffered permanent injuries. The pending lawsuit, you have to file that notice of claim first before you could even attempt to file a lawsuit. But if they do file a lawsuit, they're expecting to ask for $21 million in damages.